I'm taking a little bit. Stop. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's Jessica Fit Beauty. If you're new, welcome. I hope that you will subscribe. If you're coming back, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be starting a new series called Bougie Buy. It's all about high-end products, and we're gonna discuss if this product is worth your cash or just plain trash. Today I'm gonna be talking about the Natasha Denona Lee Lapel. I'm also gonna be swatching it on myself and my daughter so you'll see two different skin tones, as well as creating this look with the palette. So if you guys wanna see this video, go ahead and watch. <laughs> Okay, so let's jump right on into this thing. This is the packaging of the Natasha Denona on the outside. The box I'm super unimpressed with. I really just think like, again, for over $100 that the outer packaging could be just as spectacular as this packaging. We're impressed with this palette. I just think it is so gorgeous. Of course, you know, my daughter who is eight saw it and she was like, I want it, mommy. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> and then the first thing she wanted to do was then, of course, swatch it. So we did swatch it together and I'll make sure I insert those for you guys so you can see because her skin tone being half black is definitely different than mine. So you guys can see what it looks like on two different skin tones. And this is the inside of the palette. I think it is so beautiful. So let's go ahead and jump right on into this. I will do swatches at the end of this video. Everything will be timestamped below in the description box. So if you wanna skip past the look I create with this, you can. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the color Nude Mauve, which is this color right here. It is kind of this grayish color is what I would call it because it's definitely like a nude. It does have a little bit of mauve in it, but it also is just so beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the small crease brush here from Royal and Nickel, which is of course, if you guys have been watching me for a while now, currently my favorite. I do wanna show that you do not have to push very hard in this palette. One thing I noticed when I was watching Natasha Denona explain her palettes was that she talked about it being a pressed pigment. So a pressed pigment, again, is gonna be like what Anastasia Beverly Hills did recently with their palette, and it's gonna be very, very condensed of like a natural loose pigment. So it doesn't need to be tapped in very hard because it's not pressed super hard. Also, just the product is super buttery. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with Nude Mauve, and we're going to put it right here on the crease of the eye. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of tap it on first. You guys can see this is so incredibly pigmented. It is like, look at that. That was not very much product and it is so pigmented. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the crease blending brush and I'm just going to kind of blend it out back and forth, kind of windshield wiper motions and circular motions to just really blend this in. And I just want you guys to see how easy this blends in. It is so beautiful. I mean, look at that. That was so easy. I'm hardly touching it. It blended like a dream. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the color Nude Vino. And again, I'm going to take my small crease brush here. I'm gonna tap it into the color. And I'm just going to apply it into the crease slightly above where I put this last color. Now I'm gonna go back in with the crease brush and I'm just going to kind of soften out these edges. All right, so now that I have both eyes done, I'm super pleased with the way this blended. It is so gorgeous. I will clean up these edges just a little bit um, to make them a little bit more defined, but overall, I'm very happy so far. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the color Helio, and I'm gonna use my finger because these type of shades are so buttery. I just know it's going to apply so much better on the lid with the finger versus a brush. And I just want to say this totally feels like butter. Okay, so the beginning of the eyes are done. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a little detail brush. This is actually from Michaels. And that's one of my little tips and tricks is that I love buying like little tiny detail brushes from Michaels because they're extra hard on the bristles so I can really like get in and detail and create fine lines and strokes and things like that. So that is something I love to do. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the color Amethyst and we're gonna put this on the lower lash line. I just really wanted to see how this purple looked. We're gonna start off without any Fix Plus or anything like that. 
and I'm just gonna coat my brush here and we're gonna see what it looks like underneath the eye. Holy smokes. That is so beautiful, but I'm gonna amp it up just a little bit by using my Fix Plus. So I'm gonna spray the brush here and then I'm gonna go ahead and go back in and grab that amethyst color. And we're gonna just really get right up in there. That is gorgeous. Loving it. Okay, let's do the next eye. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off camera. I'm gonna tight line my eyes, put some mascara on, contour, blush, do all that good stuff. We're gonna come back and discuss if this bougie buy was absolutely worth it or not. All right, guys, so that is it for this whole look. I, like, I seriously could cry at how good this palette is. Why did I wait so long to get it? Well, I'll tell you why, because it's over $100 for the palette. So it is definitely investment. I know a lot of you are probably saying, but you're a single mom and you're always talking about being on a budget. How did you afford it? I love high-end products. I just do. I always have. I always will. I am always drawn. So you can take me into TJ Maxx, right? Which is a very affordable store a lot of the time. And I will gravitate towards everything in there that is designer label without even knowing it. Like I'll turn it over and look at it and be like, and of course I'm picking everything up that is the most expensive. Does this mean that I always buy those kind of things? Absolutely not because I can't afford it. If I could afford it, would I buy it? Yeah, and some people are probably saying, well, you said that, okay, it's so bougie. Well, you know, I don't think I'm bougie. I just think that I have fine taste and that's okay. But I definitely have a champagne taste on a beer budget and that's okay too. So I also know how to make things look like they're more expensive than they are. I can go to H&M and get a cute outfit and really dress it up. And I believe that you can do that with makeup as well. But I also think that if you're a freelance artist and you're really trying to build your kit and you want things that are just amazing and you know you're gonna be booking some really good projects ahead, invest. This palette is so incredible. I just, I, I can't say enough. I mean, even if you're a super makeup enthusiast and you want to spend the money, do it. Now, I know you're going, God, Jessica, that's so expensive. It's over $100. Let me tell you about this website. And this is not sponsored, nothing. I found it on my own. It's called Beautylish. Beautylish is a site that you go to or an app. And I'm going to go ahead and insert it right here. And you can find all kinds of designer brands. Tom Ford, Becca, Anastasia Beverly Hills, also Jouer, and I believe even Jeffree Star is on there. So you can buy products that are a little more expensive and budget it out because there is a payment plan. So while this palette is expensive, I'm gonna be paying $41. I paid it right before it was delivered to me and then I'll pay it for the next two more months. So when you consider that, that's about like buying a palette once a month. So if you're already buying palettes once a month or once every couple of months, if you budget this out, you can make it work. I love that. And I'm really, really excited to buy the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette, which is coming back out October 29th, 26th. I'll put it up here down in the description box so you guys can know. But I highly encourage you, if you're into designer things and you're like me, you're on a bigger budget, but you know that you can budget things out. It's just you can't put it all up front. Sites like Beautylish, also QVC and HSN are really great because you can purchase products and again, put them on payment plans. I did that with my Clarisonic. I'm very open about that. Uh, I'm not encouraging you to go into debt if this is not something that you're looking at being a career and you want to just try and keep up with the Joneses, don't do that. But if this is something that's a career for you and you're very interested in having good quality products that you can use and that also like your brides or your clients when you pull it out are going to go, ooh, ah, well, this is the palette because it is so gorgeous. So that is it for this review. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I am super impressed with it. I'm going to go ahead and insert the swatches after all of this so you guys can continue to watch. You're going to see them on my daughter as well as myself so you can see the two different skin tones. Guys, I can't say it enough. I love this palette. Get it, buy it, own it. Go to beautylish.com, check them out, get the app. It's awesome. Again, not sponsored. I'm just in love with it. And hey, if maybe down the road they want to sponsor me, hey girl, hey, we'd love to work with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, we'll be seeing you soon. Bye. I'm getting something. I'm getting something.
All right, guys, so here is just a few swatches from the palette. As always, Bella and I had so much fun playing around, and I slightly wanted to kill her too, but you know, that's how it goes as a mom. Hi, guys. Boom! That's the cash money! <laughs> you guys see what I have to deal with? Yes, okay? I'm feeling myself.